Hey guys, it's your girl Patrick and welcome back to my channel. So your girl is back with another Bottle Girl Weekend Vlog. And your girl is vlogging this weekend. I'm actually about to head out right now to drive to Miami. Because of this daylight time saving, it is dark right now. It is like around 6 p.m. but it's dark outside. So I did have to turn on my ring light before I head out. But your girl's about to hit the road and I am going straight to work. I do have my uniform and my makeup and everything. So I will be getting ready there. But your girl's about to head out. This daylight time savings is really messing with me because it feels like it's so much later, but it's only 6 p.m. You guys are going to see um, once I get in the car, but yeah, your girl's about to head out and welcome to another weekend vlog. I'm going to be vlogging this entire week. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day. Right now it's like 12 o'clock noon. You guys know I did work last night and I just woke up and you guys, I am exhausted. This is the reality of working at night. It is 12 o'clock noon and I'm so tired. I didn't get home till like four o'clock in the morning. I didn't end up falling asleep till 5 a.m. And so me being up right now, it's like, I am so tired. I just woke up because I just wanna go get some food real fast. And I need to stop at the beauty supply store to get some lashes. And then I'm coming back home and your girl's going back to sleep because I do have to work I do have to work tonight and so your girl did do pretty good last night I am gonna do a money count but you guys I am exhausted like even though it's 12 o'clock it feels like first of all it feels like I didn't get any sleep at all so working a night job like this will definitely turn you into the type of person because usually I am a morning person I'm usually up by 8 9 a.m but when I work I am exhausted. I'm like, I cannot do anything. I literally have to sleep because I have to be back up again um, to work tonight. And so this is just what it is. So your girl's about to head out and grab some food and run a couple errands, come back, go to sleep. And yeah, um, this is just going to be a very hard working weekend. So I'm going to see you guys once I get in the yeah, 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 yeah. It is like 5 a.m. Your girl just got home from work like a couple of minutes ago. And you guys, I am exhausted. Your girl is exhausted. Um, Work was pretty good today. I was on my feet for like eight hours. It was busy. It was packed. I did make some good tips. And so I'm, I'm happy about that. But your girl is beat. It is 5 a.m. You guys, I'm about to take off my makeup. And I'm about to hop in the shower and I'm about to go to sleep. But I had a pretty good night. Um, um, on the weekend, my the club that I work at don't close until 4 a.m. So that's why I'm just not getting home at 5 a.m. Because I had a lot. So that's why I'm just not getting home at 5 a.m. So your girl is beat. And once again, I'm probably going to end up sleeping in because I can't wake up early. Like, I need the time. My body feels so sore right now. Um, My body feels so sore right now, and I just want to relax. So, I'm about to hop in the shower, and um, I'll probably see you guys in the morning because I'm just going to knock out. My world, I even dream of you. So it's the next day and these are my tips from last night listen your girl was working okay your girl was working it was a good night and so i do have to do a money count and count up this but i was putting in work okay and so um right now i'm about to head out by the way i didn't end up going to sleep until like 6 a.m and right now it's 11 a.m so your girl only slept for five hours i am still exhausted but i am hungry so i just woke up i'm about to go to the jamaican restaurant and get a plate of food because i need some good food in my system right now and so i'm gonna get some food and your girl is stopping at the vitamin store because i do have to pick up some vitamins i have some vitamins here but i forgot my iron supplements at home and the reason why i've been taking some vitamins is because your girl is getting surgery in a couple of weeks yes surgery oh my gosh i can't believe i'm doing this but um and so your girl do have to stop at the vitamin store because i left my iron 
supplements at home and I'm supposed to be taking my iron supplements every day along with some other vitamins because your girl is getting surgery in a couple of weeks yes yes um, I am gonna be vlogging that journey and everything so stay tuned but yeah I am getting I am getting surgery in a couple of weeks so I have to pick up some iron supplements because I don't I can't go days without it I'm gonna be down here for a couple more days and so I don't want to wait until I go back home because that means I'm gonna miss out almost a week of taking my iron supplements and because my surgery is only in a couple of weeks I can't you know miss out on that many days because this is very crucial for my health so i'm gonna run out and um i am gonna show you guys what vitamins i am taking to prepare my body for surgery which is super important so yeah i have a little bit of running around to do not too much so i'm just gonna do that come back eat and then i'll be able to sleep again for tonight this is literally what it's like working night life like um you sleep late some people wake up late but i just try to wake up early so that whatever i need whatever i need to get done i can just hurry up and get it done and then i take a nap and then i go to work but some people just rather sleep late wake up and then go to work but i'm like i can't do that because your girl have things to do so i'm actually um just getting my stuff together and we are about to head out so i'll probably see you guys one time on the road or once i get day you guys know that i did not work last night but your girl just woke up not too long ago right now it's like three o'clock i woke up like around i woke up early today and i did go out get some food at my usual jamaican food store but i wanted to come on camera and show you guys the vitamins that i did get yesterday and the vitamins that i am currently taking because yes your girl is about to have surgery in a couple of weeks so I have been taking some vitamins just to prepare my body and yes I will be documenting my whole surgery experience on my channel so if you guys are interested in seeing that make sure you guys subscribe but yeah taking vitamins is very important before surgery just to make sure that your body is healthy so um, I did get these iron supplements from a vitamin store yesterday now I did have some iron supplements at home but i forgot them and so i didn't want to go a whole entire week without taking my iron just because these are very vital for surgery like iron is super important for your just so that you can have healthy red blood cells so i did take some iron and right now i'm taking folic acid they said this is very important for surgery because it helps with your heart health i'm also taking some vitamin c um they say that in order for the folic acid to work you do have to take vitamin c and you know vitamin c is great for your immune system so these are really the three most important vitamins um these are like the three most important vitamins. These are like the three most important vitamins to take for a BBL procedure. So your girl have been taking her vitamins every day. And the last supplement that I have been taking as well is some turmeric supplements. Now I've actually been taking turmeric, turmeric just because they are very good with inflammation in the body and um it's just very great and i feel like these will also be very helpful for recovery after surgery and so these are really the four supplements that your girl is taking every day so yeah that's what i've been doing i, I haven't taken any of my vitamins today yet so i have to take this i actually have to re-up on my turmeric but vitamins is important about these supplements is that um, <clears throat> I only need to take one a day so that makes it super easy for me to travel with and most of them I take around the time that I'm eating so like I, I'll take some of them like before I eat and after I eat just so that I don't forget okay hey guys so I'm actually here just going through my tips now these are my tips from Friday night I actually did not count Friday or Saturday yet so um, I'm here just straighten everything out I actually have to work tonight so I have to go in the shower in about 30 minutes so I'm just doing like a quick little money gathering 
before your girl head in the shower it is monday and to be honest i've never worked on a monday at all so it's like i'm very curious to see um what tonight is gonna be like i've never worked on a tuesday either so i'm curious to see what tomorrow night is gonna be like as well hopefully it's good you know hopefully it is good but your girl is curious so i'm just getting all of this situated and i probably just like put rubber bands on the money but um and do a money count later but i'm just situating all of this and i also like to um break up my money into days so that i know okay saturdays i usually do good or fridays i usually do good just so that i can keep track of everything so that's what your girl is gonna do i'm just gonna rubber band um each day and then go back and count it but yeah um right now to be honest it's usually the time where i'm taking a nap to go to work but i don't really feel tired i don't really feel tired so i hope to like later while i'm at work tonight i just don't start feeling tired out of nowhere <laughs> but um i usually drink a red bull to give me energy at work so i should be fine and th this thursday is thanksgiving so the plan is i worked friday i worked saturday i was off yesterday which was sunday i'm working today which is monday i'm working today tuesday and i'm working wednesday then i'll be off thursday for thanksgiving so yeah this is a very um eventful week and like i told you guys in my last clip your girl is getting surgery i bbl and so that's why i've just been working e even way more harder because you know between saving for that and then i also have a couple other things that i that i'm planning on doing some other goals so like between saving for surgery saving for my other goals like i have a lot so that's why i've just been grinding 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 and just been trying to work as much as possible because your girl have a lot of goals and this surgery is something that I've just been excited and I'm happy that you guys are loving these um these bottle girl videos but give me some suggestions down below of what kind of bottle girl videos um would you guys want to see like some get ready with me videos I know that um I know that you guys were requesting I do a video on saving and taxes. So I am definitely going to do that because you guys know tax season is coming up. So that is very important. And yeah. Your girl is excited. Okay guys, I'm about to head out to work right now. I have my bag and my makeup kit. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know what it's like working on a Monday night, my very first ever Monday night. And I'm just so stuffed. Oh my gosh, I think I ate way too much food. I don't like going to work and being so full just because I have to move around a lot. So hopefully by the time I get there, my fullness wear off because I'm stuffed. I'm not tired at all, I'm just really full. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys know how does Monday go. I know Mondays are usually known for being slow, but we're gonna see how tonight goes. So I'll probably see you guys once I actually the next day um i woke up like two hours ago and right now i'm just here counting up my tips from last night um i am starting to feel a little bit better because i did take some robitussin um last night and this morning when i woke up so my cold is starting to go away well it wasn't a full-blown cold yet but i had like a stuffy nose and a sore throat coming off so your girl just been taking medicine because i cannot get sick right now so i am feeling a little bit better but yeah i'm just here counting some tips from last night and like i was telling you guys when i got home um it wasn't as slow as i thought it would be like i thought that it was like it would be super slow being that it's a monday night but it wasn't like i was actually surprised i guess because we're in south florida so this is just what it is people 
you know people just like to go out after work have a drink or two and so that's just what it is <laughs> But yeah, I'm just counting up. So yeah, today is actually Tuesday. So I have to work tonight and then I'm working tomorrow and then I'm going home Thursday for Thanksgiving. So yeah, your girl has definitely been grinding. I am starving. I have to get some food. I've been taking my vitamins for my surgery. Um, That's another thing. I'm taking my vitamins for my surgery and we are just back at it, okay? Um, I do have to, after I get my surgery, my BBL, I am going to be out of work for six weeks, at least six weeks. And so I have to make sure that I have enough cushion in my bank account to last me for that six weeks. And so, yeah, I'm just preparing myself for all of this, all of this girl. Your girl is, and I've been planning for this surgery for a minute. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to finally go through with it. So I can't wait. But yeah, this is what's been going on. By the way, I do want to, I really want to get into bartending next year. That's honestly one of my goals. I kind of spoke about it in a different video. I actually had an interview to be a bartender at the Oasis in Wynwood. And the manager really liked me. However, I didn't know much about like mixing drinks because I don't have that much experience. I don't have any experience. I have a little bit of experience at a, as a bartender, but not a lot. And so, even though the manager really liked me, I didn't get the job because, you know, I have to study my liquors more. So, um, that's another thing, too. There are, like, so many different type of jobs in the nightlife industry, not just being a bottle girl. You could be a, a bartender, all of that. So, I definitely want to transition into being a bartender. But this is just what it is. And by the way, because... Somebody asked me why am I always counting out so many ones. I do work at a strip club. Like Now, there are some girls that are bottle girls at a regular nightclub, but I'm not a bottle girl at a regular nightclub. Like, I work at a strip club. That's why there are so many ones. Um, and to be honest, I've only worked at strip clubs. So it's like I really... I can't really talk about doing these type of jobs at a regular nightclub because I don't really have experience working at a regular nightclub. Like, even when I was a makeup artist, I was a makeup artist at a strip club. Like, so that's really what I know. So I feel like trying to become a bottle girl at a regular nightclub, especially in Miami, I feel like it's going to be so much more competitive because think about it. A lot of girls, they don't want to dance. And being a bartender, they don't have experience. So they're going to go into being a waitress. But it's like being a waitress at a strip club, you still have to hustle just like how the dancers hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like you still, I don't want to use the word finesse, but you definitely have to have a good work ethic. You have to have amazing customer service, all of that. And so um, there are some quality and traits you still have to have. And I also have been seeing you guys DMs as well. And somebody DM me asking, I think she's coming here on vacation for two weeks or something. But she was asking if she'll be able to come and make enough money to work in two weeks. And you guys, this isn't like, now, there are, certain, there are some jobs where you can, you know, just begin working the next day. That's more like dancing or something. But these type of jobs, when you are a bottle girl or a waitress, you still have to train. You know what I mean? So they're not just going to hire you and then you just start making big bucks tomorrow. If that's what you want, you more have to be like a dancer because, you know, most of the time they'll hire pretty quickly and you can begin dancing right away. But when it comes to being a waitress, you still have to go through training. You still have to go through all of that. So, yeah, I'm almost finished. Straighten out my ones. And then I'm going to count it. I haven't even counted from um, Saturday yet either. I haven't counted from Saturday. So that's something that I have to do. And, um...